have you wear your winter coat on stage. It's stupid. I have a big furry hood. I have mittens. I can't, it's like, I can't fix them up. My phone doesn't work when I have my gloves on. Um, I realize now I'm playing this game that I didn't know I was playing until recently. Uh, people play this game when we call it, You Know Who You Look Like. Um, I don't like the game because I never win, but it's getting outrageous. Like, first, the old lady said, You know who you look like? I'm like, nah, who? I sit in your hall. I said, That's no, nah, that's offensive. I don't look at Stuff like the teeth, the cheekbones, and the facial structure. That's about it, though. Not who you look like. Right? <laughs> Another guy, uh, okay, I've heard this one since I've been growing up. Scotty Pippen. I've heard it. It's cool. My hairline's like Stevie Wonder's, but somewhere around there. So I'm playing basketball with a guy. And they're like, oh, man, you know who you look like? I'm like, oh, it's Pippen, right? They're like, nah, uh, Brittany Griner. Now, if you know who she is, she is the, like, she's the LeBron James of the WNBA. There's nothing cool about being a guy compared to a lesbian. I don't know if it's like an insult to her, like she's mildly attractive man, or am I just a really cool looking dyke? It's, it's not fun. So it makes dating kind of difficult for me. I'm getting desperate now. Like I wasn't doing like a dating site, but those costs. I didn't know that. I thought it was free. Love should be free, that's all I'm saying. So I said, fuck it, I'm going to Google. And I put in where to find women. Google said, did you mean where to find white women? <laughs> Sweet for the fence, Google. Yeah. It actually had results. Like it had uh, yoga class. I'm like, that's really white. Then it had um, baseball games, campgrounds, Starbucks, which I, I'm like, I know, I can speak Starbucks. Like, I can order a double latte, extra and so cappuccino with the best of them. I'm good with Starbucks. But the last one that really messed me up was Panera Bread. And I'm like, that's, that's clearly the whitest place on earth. Like, I don't care. It's never like black people working at Panera Bread, ever. It's like, you know, like a nice neighborhood, but like all the black girls are like, like really white girls, but not really. They have fathers and families and shit. So I went, my first time Panera Bread was difficult because I walked in, I saw the menu, I'm like, 